Hello customers and welcome to today's guided walkthrough of our 2012 Volkswagen Golf R. My name is Jesse, I'm a Perth marriage celebrant and spokesperson for car plays here on the corner of Leach Highway and North Lake Road. We hope you enjoy the tour, let's begin. We're going to start off with a front on view while I list off the car's key features. Packed inside we have 9 airbags, ABS brakes, 8 speaker stereo sound system, cruise control, a parking graphical display assistant, central locking. Fingers crossed we can cover the remaining features inside the car, inside this short video we have. We hope you enjoy. First up, uh, presentation. Now the detailing team here at the yard do a brilliant job. There's a few things that still need to be brought up to speed with the car, but don't worry about that. Upon purchase, they're gonna have this thing looking like a 2021 vehicle as best they can. Now presentation is a feature in itself, okay? We've got a chrome black finish along the front here. Plenty of specs inside your headlights, okay? They have the automatic feature, they have cornering feature, they have the semi home feature, they have the headlamp washer feature as well. These bad boys will come forward, spray out a bit of water, clean off your headlights. Rain sensing windscreen wipers and speed dependent windscreen wipers. The faster you're driving means the faster your windscreen wipers will go. Um, front facing parking sensors, we've got four along the front and Lastly, finance. If you're thinking of financing the car, we do same day finance approval here at the yard, which simply means we're going to get through that process with the banks very efficiently and conveniently. Okay, that'll do for the front pretty much, guys. Let's take you now down the left hand side. We're going to introduce your 18 inch alloy rims. They're looking absolutely divine. Alloy is much lighter in weight and won't rust or stain in wet weather. Okay, taking you now to your side mirrors, matching paint job, indicator light, plastic guard along the bottom there. They have the auto dip feature to give you a perfect line of sight down the left hand side of your car when reversing. Uh, they have the heated feature, they're not going to fog up in a cold environment. And let's continue on, taking your attention now to the windscreens, a very mild tint job has been applied, a little bit less sunlight. The paint job's absolutely wonderful. Notice the skirt to the left-hand side, running along the bottom, I mean. Uh, and here we go, our back right-hand tyre, much the same as the front, great condition. Wrap-around brake lights brings us to the back. Dolphin fin antenna, spoiler feature with a brake light. Um, back windscreen wiper, black chrome badge and a black chrome finish along the entry into your boot. Four reverse parking sensors, the reverse camera is in here somewhere. We tried to find that earlier and had no luck, but it is in there. And okay, time for us to jump inside your boot space. And there you have it. Speaks for itself. Plenty of room for your groceries and knickknacks. You've got a cargo cover along the top here. If you want to disinstall that, no worries. Just unclip it from the left and right hand corners up here. All right, and I've just lifted that up, trying to put that back in place. Okay, if you lift up the floor, we've got the spare tire and a tool kit about the place to be able to install that. Pretty simple stuff, and that'll do us. 12 volt power supply, I've just noticed, up in the top right hand corner to equip any uh, accessories. All right, let's take you now down the right hand side. Push open fuel cap, nice and convenient. And let's suss out our back right hand tire. We have front and rear independent suspension. Oh, okay. Leather finish on our doors, power windows, nice sound system speaker in the bottom there. The cat, uh, sorry, the seats themselves are made from what I call the couch material. We've got an armrest in the center, storage on the back of the driver and passenger seats, air conditioning vents and carpet floor mats running along the feet. Into the front we go. Don't forget about your partial leather interior, power windows, this is your side mirror adjustments here. Okay. Uh, light controls to the right hand side, illumination here for your displays behind your steering wheel. Speaking of, power steering, leather bound, multifunction, you've got menu controls to your right hand side, volume and station controls to the left hand side, and the steering wheel column itself is adjustable. You can bring that up and down, back and forth to suit your position driving. Okay, leather dashboard along the top, pollen filter inside our air conditioning vents, filter out all the nasties in the air. CD player comprising part of your multimedia system. It has its own maps and navigation as well, separate from hooking up a phone. You can also hook up the phone and access all the compatible apps. So think music streaming services, and of course your phone calls and texts. Air conditioning units. Uh, the main thing here is that the temperature can be different for driver and passenger. Down here is just some storage. Traction control over here. This button turns off and on your parking um, ass assistant. Leather bound gear stick, leather finishes all throughout. Pull this back, you got some extra storage in here. An aux input just where I'm pointing. Leather finish on top of your center console. Lift that up and we've got, uh, what's this? 
a USB inputs, space to chuck your phone, and what have you. Awesome. Okay, your glove box is a velvet interior and it's air conditioned. So one of the, we've got an air conditioning vent inside here. So if you've got any valuables, they're not gonna heat up if you're parked in the sun all day. We have the R badge that's supposed to go on the front of the car. It, it has come away, it's, it's still here. So hopefully before you come and take this for a test drive, the detailers have been able to place this securely back on for you. Okay, airbag right in front of me. Airbag up here in the curtain, airbag bes beside me at the head. Grab handle. Sun visor with a mirror and a light. Light controls along here. Uh, roof storage for a pair of sunnies. If you haven't noticed yet, guys, the best thing to happen to cars since they put brakes on them, a sunroof. Now we know how sunroof works. Press the buttons next to the lights to open this, bring it back down. You've also got a shade cloth here. And to finish off, an electric anti-glare rear view mirror. That'll just lessen the bright reflection of you know bright headlights about the place. Okay, as I jump out of the car, don't forget about your cushion seats, carpet floor mats along the feet, door pocket storage as well, of course. Let's finish off the right hand tour and zoom in on our top right hand tire as well. I'm gonna get your hood, your bonnet prepared. And I didn't have to do too much guys because the piston here does the lifting and the holding for me. Notice the soundproofing board along the top there. Hopefully we can get that tucked back in a little bit better before a test drive. And here we are, my friends. There is the engine bay for your viewing glory. Some final details. We've got 100,000 kilometers on the clock. We've got a sports automatic dual clutch transmission. This car takes unleaded fuel. It's a four wheel drive drive type and a two litre engine we've just been checking out. Thanks so much for watching my friends. We hope you enjoyed, but most importantly, we hope you found this video informative. Three things to tell you as we wrap up. Number one, don't forget about our finance, same day finance approval. Number two, you may have noticed the warranty sign upon the back. Consider the warranty guys. Give yourself some peace of mind and speed yourself any potential headaches. Lastly, if you think the Golf might be for you, book in a test drive, take it down Leach Highway and back, see how you feel afterwards. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. We look forward to hearing from you soon.